flying to the moon is good practice for changing orbit and speed and different altitudes but if you've skipped from the first video to this one that's fine we're gonna go over how to rendezvous in this episode for starters here I've put two spacecraft at 100 kilometers alright and here is Union 1 that has been launched to dock with Union 0 I recently unlocked docking connectors they're kinda high up the tech tree and I have lights unlocked you might not but I brought a light because sometimes things happen on the dark side of the planet and it sucks um, my vehicle's center of mass is right here and that's why I have my RCS thrusters because you want to have equal push from these thrusters uh, around your center of mass like if I didn't have these here I would want to have a set of four back here and a set of four up here you always want it to be even we need to create a maneuver that's very similar to how we got to the moon and just to kind of reiterate here my little trick for getting to the moon is just to add a maneuver anywhere accelerate to how fast you need to be to get there oh man I'm just lucky as heck um, and then just pay attention to where the targets gonna be and where you're gonna be and drag the maneuver node until they meet it's virtually the same concept for rendezvous alright so to get my little union one to meet union zero I have to first make a uh, maneuver anywhere on this really uh, anywhere on my orbit we're gonna do it at apogee to save fuel because we're gonna be speeding up and you're gonna wanna put one of your spacecraft in a higher orbit I usually go about 100 kilometers higher. All right, I've lined up, and in 10 minutes I'm gonna go execute my node. All right, and as I execute this node, I'm actually gonna burn off to the side a little bit. And why I'm gonna do that is because I wanna kinda screw up my orbit a bit. Um, it is more or less easy to launch it and get them in a good line like I had here but sometimes things get screwed up so that's pretty good I, I overshot it 240 it's okay it's not a big deal most importantly though is I've got my new orbit cattywampus because I need to show you how to fix that when that happens to you but yeah the right thing to do would have been to keep burning at the node just to be clear about that because what I did is basically created extra work just there, but I really want to show you how to fix it because I didn't know for a long time. All right, I'm almost at Apogee. Oh, heck. All right, so I got to burn at Apogee. That was kind of sloppy. There we go. As soon as they switch, I'm going to hit X to kill my thrust. There they go, switching X. All right, I am more or less circular. You want to first select your spaceship that you're after, the one you want to dock with, and you want to set it as a target. Now we get this little thing that pops up. This is the descending node, and the opposite one's the ascending node, and it's a lot like the apoapsis and periapsis, but for the other direction. And to, to clarify what I'm talking about here, I'm just going to show you. You're going to want to create a maneuver node at either the ascending or the descending node and pull on these things. You see how it kind of revolves my orbit? It's going to put me at, a, at an angle, at an inclination. Well, we want to have the same inclination as our target so that we're not zooshing off to different distances at different points in our orbit. We're going to, we're going to want some time to scooch up to them. So to create this time, we want this to be about zero. So put it on the ascending node, we're going to pull it up until we can get that to read zero. All right, right there, we've got zero. So we're going to fast forward time. We're going to burn at that node, which I should probably line up for. There it is. And I recommend doing this burn at very low thrust. It's very easy to overdo it and then you're wasting fuel because you have to do it on the other side, equal it back out. All right, very little thrust, ready to press X. Just gonna kind of shift an X, there we go, zero, perfect. All right, now see how the ascending node to my target is zero? 
And it's very important to have your target selected, so make sure you have it, your target set. Well, now that that's zero, I'm going to quick save. Remember, I'm a big fan of quick save. And now we're going to get ready to plan our intercept maneuver. Anywhere along my orbit, I'm going to put down a maneuver node. Now, we're going to want to slow down. Because you see how we put our spaceship in a higher orbit than the one we're after? We're going to want to slow down somewhere along our path so that our curve bumps theirs. All right, now just like shooting off to the moon, you see where we're going to be is this little pink indicator above the line, and where they're going to be is this little pink indicator under it. And so essentially what we want to do is now that, here I'm going to create it again just so you can see, essentially what we're going to want to do is create a maneuver where we slow down. Our dotted line connects with the solid gold line of our target. And then we're going to want to grab the node, the node itself, by the center and move the node along our orbit until those two indicators line up. Alright, that's nice that that happens so I can explain it. You see how there's two sets of colors now? That's just two times we're going to be pretty close to each other. So that's fine, there can be, and you do want to match the colors up. So something like this is excellent. That means right here we're going to be 0.3 kilometers from them. And then right here we're going to be 7.5 kilometers away from them. And either one of those is going to work just great. And now all we do is rotate our spacecraft to our maneuver just like we've been doing. And we just execute this loading bar over here. We burn our engine until this hits zero. All right, coming up on it, it is time to burn. So we're going to burn at our node and notice how we're slowing down on this side. Then we want to watch this bar because we don't want to overshoot this. And when it gets to zero, we're going to press X. Or when it gets near to zero, we're going to press X. And then we're just going to lightly finish it off. Yeah. So I barely got shift down at all. X, shift X, shift X, etc. All right, excellent. Now, so there's no confusion, we're going to clear our node. All right. And now it's going to tell us exactly where we panned out to be. And hey, how about that? It's going to happen on the light side of the planet. That is the best. Um, at this point, I like to switch my my speed display here by clicking on it. You can switch between uh, orbit, which is probably what you're set to already. You can sit, switch to surface, and you can switch to target. At this point, you definitely want to switch this display to your speed to your target. Because that's what we want. We want to match its orbit. So we want this to be at zero when we get to here. And I'm going to execute it and show you exactly what that looks like. I accidentally clicked on the planet, so now I'm, now I'm watching the planet, but that's okay. All right, as I get closer and closer to this indicator, that's when we're going to be 1.6 kilometers apart. And at this point, I'm going to hit M to look at the real the real world what's going on outside my nav ball and I'm gonna rotate my spaceship to my retrograde vector my retrograde indicator here I'm gonna to want to burn against it until this target speed here says zero when I get as close as I can the closer the better um, without running into them so a good way to see here is you see this little pink indicator I'm gonna pause here this little pink indicator here is where my target is coming from on the other side there'll be an open circle and that's where my target is going to so when this starts to jet off my nav ball I know I'm passing them so that's my good hint that I need to be slowing down so I'm gonna get this hundred to zero now as soon as I resume by holding down shift and speeding up or holding down shift and slowing down rather woo space All right, do you see how I hit X there because I didn't want to overshoot it? Shift X, Shift X, that whole dance. All right, excellent. Now when that gets zero, I'm gonna zoom out to the map and I'm gonna show you what we've done. All right, zero, awesome. Here's our map. Why, look at that. We are in the exact same orbit, which gives us a good amount of time to scooch over there. Alright, well we've rendezvoused more or less. We are still a good distance away 
400 meters or close to 500 meters. So now I'm going to show you how to get closer. What we do is we move our nose to this open circle and that's that's my where my target is. That, so we're pointed at them and we're going to want to speed up and see how the direction I'm going is now pointed at my target. When this gets to around 30 or 20 or I guess it really just depends on how far away you are. For, for being several hundred meters I wanted it to get definitely above 10. Alright now see how I'm going to fly past them. Now I'm going to start firing my engine to slow down. Alright same thing as before, same dance. I want to get this to zero. Alright now I'm going up a little bit. I kind of overdid it. But that's okay because I can just spin around and equal it out to zero. And it's not really that big a deal. Or I can hit R and I can turn on my thrusters and I can use them. Might be good practice. Alright. Now that we are both pretty close to zero and we're really close together, now is when I can actually begin the next episode, which would be docking. And I will try to get it posted as soon as possible.